Alright, check this out. Welcome back to the world is ghetto entertainment. Today I bring to you a new video. Check this out. So today's video I bring to you guys today is gonna be about Vlad TV. Well, it's on Vlad TV's channel, but it's gonna be about Big Tone on Sureño rappers having more success than Norteños. So we're gonna react to this video, and he also does this little Rob. I'm gonna call it this to little Rob and all Chicano rappers down down here, down here, down in the south, you know, down. LA, you know, I don't, I don't know why, but a bunch of these northern people got some, got a bad taste in their mouth from people down south. I don't know why they love to hate, they love to create excuses, but you know, who cares? We're gonna react to this video, you know, see what he says, see, see what's going on, you know. And uh, I did see this in the media, so we're gonna react to it as always. But if you are new to the world, this is ghetto entertainment. I do reactions video, I do reaction videos make sure that like and subscribe i almost do them daily you know i just i just been inactive lately because you know i've been i've been busy i've been busy but i'm back on that grind i'm back doing this here and there so we're gonna react to it now big tone calling out little rob and sureño rappers so we're gonna check this out let's get into it why do you think that so many sureño rappers have got put on but norteño rappers Hardly ever. I mean, you guys are out here in Hollywood, man. You're right here in the in the heart of it. You yeah, know, there's the, not Northern California <laughs> black rappers. Hey, that's a crazy ass excuse. That's a crazy ass excuse. That's a crazy ass. That's a <laughs> right here in Hollywood. I ain't got nothing to do. Excuses, excuses, man. <laughs> Little Robin ain't ain't Hollywood. Little Rob is all the way over there in San Diego. And he still managed to be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, Chicano rap artist ever to ever do the, ever do it. And I'm not a big fan of, of Little Rob. I, I don't really like his music like that, you know. And you still gotta admit he's he's up there with the Chicano rappers. He's probably number one. I'm gonna say it because he got that style. He got this and that. He probably almost created it too. So and he ain't in Hollywood. He is not in Hollywood. It don't matter. That's just an excuse anyways. So I don't know what this man's talking about. You can literally keep naming them. True E-40, that. MC Hammer, yeah. Too Short. But see, a black rapper say could come up here and mingle anywhere and Southerners ain't going to trip on them. No one, They're welcome anywhere they go. You got, you know, Lazy Boy go down to some of these neighborhoods. It's going to be it's going to be probably bad news. If I pop out or bands or somebody pop out, it's going to be a different story. You know. Same thing down here. We can't go up there. Y'all can, can y'all can't come down here. Same thing. Same thing. We both got that same thing. And how we managed to blow up? I don't know. Is it because we got better music, better this, better that? I think so. And that's just facts. Look at Adam Twenty Two. He said the same thing. He said the same thing. You know, if everyone starts saying the same thing, it's gotta be true, right? <laughs> You know, uh, too short come out here. It's gonna be he's probably gonna sell out a, a a nice little show. You know what I'm saying? So you think that's what holds you guys back? For sure, politics, definitely, definitely. Well, you're right. Black rappers, white rappers, Asian rappers, they can move around and do music with everyone. Yeah. But Norteños and Sereños, you know, it almost reminds me of L.A. In the 90s where crips and bloods couldn't work together yeah you know like dj quick couldn't work with crip rappers yeah and you know mc8 couldn't work with blood rappers mm -hmm. these days people like nipsey and yg i felt kind of squashed that yeah yeah you know what i'm saying where but it seems like with mexican rappers it's still a thing yeah it's it's not gonna it's it's yeah a lot of history man so i think it's still fresh you know and a lot of people's uh Lifestyle, man. You know, I, I don't know the, the 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 bloods and crips out here how they get down, man. But I think that's still fresh, man. But I think you were asking why why you know I think no northerners blow up or something like that. If that was the question, yeah. Um, and even southerners, man. Like, how many has how many southerners really just blew up that are really like top selling chart artists? It depends on what you're saying. Blown up. I'm talking about as far as like. I can name a lot. I can name a lot. You know, I'm only gonna name three because I ain't trying to go down the list. King Lil G. Right now, right now, right now, King Lil G still doing it, but back then, back then he was he was, he was popping too. Lefty Gunplay's doing it. I think he just signed like a million dollar deal. He a millionaire. King Lil G a millionaire. Little Rob probably a millionaire too. And that's just three. I go down the list and name all of them. 
people that own their own record labels. You know, people that do this, people that do that. I mean, come on. Can't name not one northerner that's blown up. And that's just facts. And y'all gonna get mad. I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna have a bunch of northerners in my comment section going off. But trustfully, I do not care. I don't care. I don't care. It's facts. And y'all cannot stand the facts. But it's facts. Like a YG status or, 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 or someone that you're comparing to Nipsey. Is there any? I'm just curious. I don't know. Yeah. No, I mean, viral, there's, there's like internet dudes that are, that yeah. are going up for sure. I mean, you're right. I mean, you got guys like Be Real, but Be Real was a yeah, blood. He's not, he's not a gang. gang yeah, that, he was a blood at the time that he was, yeah. you know, started out rapping. He wasn't a... But a he wasn't coming out rapping that. He came out as uh, Cypress Hill. He wasn't coming out as, a, as a blood rapper, you know. Well, I mean, he was definitely coming out as a gang-related rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, you know, first single gotcha. was Hand on the Pump. Still down here, though. He's still down here. He ain't a northern rapper. He ain't come out of the north. He came out of the south. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Gangster, gangster just kill rap. a man. Like, gangster you know, rap. I mean, yeah, this is sure. definitely gangster rap. But it was different versus like like the banging on wax albums and stuff back then. They was really banging on they on their tracks. Yeah, I mean, you know, Lil Rob definitely had some hits. Yeah, but is Lil Rob a, 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 a actual Sudano gang member though? I don't I don't think he I is. I don't think man. he really touches on that. Yeah, he's just he, to me. But Lil I think Rob, I think from being here. from out here. He's down here yeah. though. Down here. You get affiliated type you get of affiliated yeah, yeah, but I don't that. I don't look at him as like an actual. I've never seen him throw like gangs up and throw yeah. signs up and disrespect other people. I've never seen him be that character, so I could see him just representing his culture down here and being that. But I mean, Lazy Boy said that he would never do a song with a, a gang affiliated Southern rapper. Yeah, do you feel the same way? At this point in my career, there'd be no there'd be no reason that would that would just. Uh, I worked hard to build my foundation with, with. I look at my business like a successful moms and pops business. You know what I mean? Your your favorite local taqueria in your town does well. You didn't need to blow up and go all across the world and have a million chains, but that business does very well for itself. I've been so rooted with my people, my community. It wouldn't even make sense at this point. That wouldn't even, you know, it, it wouldn't make sense. Now, I in the future, the way the game is transpiring, the youngsters, even the Southerners out here are kind of, uh, adapting the more urban culture, you know, more and more. I won't say in North, but just the, the urban culture. So there are there's a lot of similarities. Back then, you would tell the difference. You could tell a rapper from LA that was a Southerner. You could tell the difference between a rapper from Northern California. Now there's there's not much of a difference in, in the styles. You know what I'm saying? So I could see maybe one day these next generations linking up, doing something together. Well, allegedly they say that there is a an agreement, an end of hostilities agreement between Norteños and Sereños in California state prisons. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's something that's out of my realm to talk about, brother. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But but do you think that at some point there will just be a complete truce everywhere between northern and southern gangs? Uh, I don't know. Because it's been going on longer than we've been alive. Yeah, yeah. I really, I, I really don't know, man, because nothing will surprise me these days. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 there's definitely always going to be some bad blood. That's facts. There's definitely, definitely always going to be some bad blood. That's facts. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. Let me know what y'all think about this whole video. What, did you, what do y'all think about this reaction video? I'm not using my regular mic. It's old one again. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Other than that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Comment down below. Check out my other videos I posted. Other than that, it's the world is getting on and I'm out.